Okay, another bunch of Sonic rumors were also talking about, aside from Sonic Rift, that, you know, they were talking about, you know, Sonic Adventure remakes, okay? So, I decided, hey, you know what, I might as well talk about something about the Sonic Adventures, but not the Sonic Adventure remakes. I'm talking about they should probably do a Sonic Adventure 3. Now I know a whole lot of people have been talking about, like, you know, hey, it's possible that they might be doing a Sonic Adventure 3. It's possible. After the remakes, you get to have an SA3. Well, I don't even know if you should probably even call it SA3. Come up with a better name or something. I don't know. But I think I might know what kind of name that should probably be. And that is exactly what I'm going to talk to you about today, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Madoc, and welcome back to another Mad Theory episode. Now, today, yes, as I said in the introduction, I said I was going to be talking about how and what should there be when it comes to Sonic Adventure 3. Well, that's a good question, because for me, I've already kind of figured out that how exactly Sega should probably make a Sonic Adventure 3. I don't even know if they're going to even make the title Sonic Adventure 3, but let's just forget about that for now. Ever since when I've been looking back at Sonic X, the anime series, um, which was, I don't know, like, probably last year or probably the year after that, or before that, I should be saying, sorry about that, I realized that there was something very familiar between, you know, the game Sonic Adventure and the Sonic X anime series, that some of these parts, they almost look so freaking similar. All that Sonic Adventure was, was basically, like, a revamp of Sonic X, but in video gaming style. The only difference that they had is like they excluded Christopher and all of his friends out. And that was just basically it. Come on, think about it. Like, don't you remember that, you know, Perfect Chaos and Sonic Adventure 1? Guess what? That was a perfect chaos in Sonic X as well. Sonic had to freaking use the seven chaos emeralds in Sonic Adventure 1. So he too did that in freaking Sonic X in Season 1. Not to also forget to mention that Takal the Echidna was also part in Sonic X. That's why she was also been put in Sonic Adventure 1 as well. Yeah, and not even that, the entire Echidna tribe was there aside from Knuckles and Tikal. Come on. Like, I don't even know if people have even noticed this at all unless they weren't paying attention because due to this fact that this is what I'm getting at now, it's just basically a... So Sonic Adventure was basically a video game revamp of Sonic X anime series. Like, what? Are you kidding? I, like, figured that out myself for, like, a very long time now. And, and do you want me to continue on? Like, there's a whole lot more to this. There's a lot more in comparison to Sonic Adventure series and Sonic X than you might have actually believed. Like, take for Shadow the Hedgehog, for example. When Sonic and Shadow first met, or when Dr. Eggman first met Shadow, it is all the exact same thing. The cutscenes tell that all, like, seriously. And also, the final bar where, you know, Sonic and Shadow team up together, they use the Chaos Emeralds to turn into Super Sonic and Super Sa Shadow in Sonic X Season 2, and Sonic Adventure 2. Come on, like, this is... You see where I'm going with this? So, I then wondered to myself, you know, how exactly are they going to make a Sonic Adventure 3 if this even happens? Well, guess what? The best and only solution here is to make a Sonic Adventure 3 replicating another revamp from the Sonic X anime series from Season 3. That's right. I'm talking about the new threat after, you know, the Boy Lizard in Season 2. And then, the new threat, here comes the Metarex. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Metarex are like these weird robot warriors or something that actually, you know, they're like the rulers of space or something. What is this, like Star Trek? But yeah, so in the very beginning of the of Season 3, Sonic X, S Sonic apparently is in supersonic mode and he's fighting the leader of the, of the Metarex. 
Which, in other words, that's actually Dark Oak. He's the leader of the Meta Rex. So basically, those are who I think those should be like my, our new villains or antagonists for Sonic Adventure 3. So we got Dark Oak, we got Black Narcissus, we got Pale Bay Leaf, we got Yellow Zalkova. These guys are pretty much badass, and I gotta say, holy crap, they're good. So then afterwards, like in the beginning, I feel like this the introduction of the story for for this kind of Sonic game should be like, you know, Sonic fights the Meta X, especially, well, specifically Dark Oak, but then he actually tries to, he, Son, Sonic all of a sudden decides to, you know, spread the Chaos Emeralds to all over the Earth or somewhere in the planets, I guess, like, or something like that. And then all they have to do is just collect the seven Chaos Emeralds before the Meta Rex do. Yeah. Now, I feel like that the storylines, there should be like two teams in this once again. A bit familiar to Sonic Adventure 2. There should be Team Heroes and Team Dark once again because, you know, Shadow the Hedgehog obviously still works for Dr. Eggman, except Dr. Eggman done something to his memories, I guess, and that's what made him have a hard time to remember things. Like Maria. Of course, Rouge the Bat has to work with Dr. Eggman, but she's more like of a, you know, a double agent, just like last time. And then, of course, you got Team Heroes, which is Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and whoever the heck else is going to be there. And by the way, there should also be new characters to this, which I'm really finally thinking that it's finally time to bring out Cosmo from Sonic X. Yes, I'm not kidding. Bring It's time to bring Cosmo into this game. And if they do that, I'll be so freaking happy. Cosmo is like some sort of um, a new being from, a niv from another planet, I guess. And she was probably sent there from her parents, I reckon, due to the fact that, you know, Duck Oak is actually Cosmo's father. Big spoiler alert there. But I'm pretty sure you get the idea. So this way, Cosmo says that, you know, her father is trying to destroy the entire galaxy or something. He wants to rule over it. So that's why, you know, Cosmo wants Sonic and his friends to actually save the day. That's it. No. Not to also mention, there are a few more characters that actually show up in this game, like Vanilla the Rabbit this time. I feel like it's perfect to actually have Vanilla to finally ha have her o be in her own game for once in her life. Like, seriously. I feel like in this case, Vanilla the Rabbit and Chocolate should definitely come. No. Not to also mention that, like in the Sonic X series, other characters like Team Chaotix, Vector, SBO, and Charmy, they actually show up in there. So I feel like it's finally time that Team Chaotix should actually be in Sonic Adventure 3 for this one, which is also a big thumbs up for me. You know how they like they have their own little bar or something on the on some remote planet? They like it's like the, some sort of cafe or bar. It, it's so funny. Like I love that, and I like how Vector was like playing the piano. Oh man. Classic. And I thought he was actually in a rock band as well. <laughs> Who knew? The gameplay should probably act a bit like, you know, the the original Sonic Adventure games like number one and number two. Playing as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Rouge, Shatter, Dr. Eggman, all that kind of stuff. And I think, you know what, Cosmo should probably be a playable character as well, along with Amy, probably perhaps Team Chaotix as well. No surprise there. And we just basically got to fight off all the Metarex characters. That's all we got to do. Oh, and by the way, this should be like this interesting twist that I really wanted to talk about for if there was going to be a Sonic Adventure 3 as well. During while you're actually fighting the Metarex, when it comes to Black Narcissus, oh man, get ready for it. Get, get ready what I'm about to tell you. You know, back in Sonic X, right? When Sonic meets with Black Narcissus, he wanted to do this experiment on Sonic by using these fake Chaos Emeralds. Here we go. Here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna say. I'm saying that not only that you just have like, you know, a Sonic boss fight battle, or even perhaps like, you know, a Sonic Super Sonic and a Super Shadow boss battle, but during the middle somewhere in the in the game, I'm thinking that you should probably have Dark Super Sonic as a playable character, you know. I repeat, I feel like Dark Super Sonic should finally get his chance to be in a Sonic game. <laughs> 
by using the, the power of the fake Chaos Emeralds created by the Metarex and Sonic's um, behavior when it comes to, you know, with grief, anger, hatred, guilt, combining all that power, all those negative emotions inside Sonic would actually unleash the full power of Dark Super Sonic. I feel like this should actually be like an actual boss fight. Like, the robots that he, that Black Narcissist brings out is, you know, his robots, like, gold is for strength, silver equals speed. And I feel like that Shadow the Hedgehog should also battle Dark Supersonic, because that'll be absolutely amazing. I want to see how long this boss battle between Dark Supersonic goes against Black Narcissist. Like, oh, boy, like, would I want to see that or what? Yeah. I think you guys can all agree with me that Dark Supersonic should finally get his chance as becoming an actual playable character in an additional form to Sonic. Heck, you could probably even make like a super dark Sonic addition to Sonic Adventure 3. Just make like a separate game or something where you can actually get Dark Supersonic, one that actually has Supersonic for a Supersonic edition. I don't know, something like that. Maybe there'll be like an extra DLC or maybe like a separate video game disc for the game or something like that. I'm just making this stuff up, but I but it see but it does sound cool. As we all know that Dark Supersonic is a is at a powerful level where he surpasses the original supersonic form. Since though we have no idea though what his power levels are like, it's it's absolutely unknown. No, but aside from all of that, I think that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is just defeat all the Metarex villains, and including Dark Oak, Oak himself by using Supersonic and Super Shadow. And hopefully, if, if there's any chances of bringing Dark Supersonic in this game, I'll be happy for that. I want Cosmo and Vanilla to show up. Oh, and also Chocolate. Don't forget Chocolate the Chow. I almost forgot about Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And above all that, I think that's it. I think that's it for this freaking theory episode. Because I really hope that this one counts. And I really do want to see if Sega's ever going to make Sonic Adventure 3. Maybe call it Sonic Adventure Metarex. That's the only best option I've got here. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like to please like and subscribe when you finish watching. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that, that you don't have to miss a single video. And as always... My name is Mad Dog and peace out!